Today's 40 is yesterday's 20, that's what I say. I turned 40 in January, and I decided that 40 would make an awesome album title, you know, be like, in your face, I'm 40, you know, bring it back at me, I don't care. But then I was also thinking, you know, 40's like the beer bottle. But Mimi wasn't so sure that that would send the right message out. That's the way everybody says it would be. Mimi and I were going to play a party and we brought a small drum kit and looked around for somebody who would, who would be willing to play. And there was this French guy named Christian. He hadn't played drums since he was in high school. About two months after that party we found Christian again. Somehow we would practice at my house. We play pretty loud, not maybe as loud as some bands, but we don't play late at night though so I think people don't mind so much. There are songs that I wrote, and they're just coming from the heart. A lot of songs are definitely not your standard rock and roll song. They're not too thought out. Everything kind of just felt naturally. Like I never really wrote stuff down or thought about it. It just is like what felt right. <laughs> absolute best part for me, you get jazzed up when you're in front of a good crowd. And when the crowd is enjoying it, that's really, really cool. But the moment of Genesis, when you write a song and it's just like, feels so right, that's the perfect thing for me. There's nothing like it. It's like trying to put your finger on where, where did that come from? There's no real answer to that. It's wonderful to have something that you can express yourself with. I suspect everybody has that something, they just have to find it.